TRV nicely taped up. More oh, beautiful. Looking at the pin. Quite a common thing for these radiators. We'll get that whipped off and replaced. How much got anyway? You want any boiler bag? Aye, so shut the locks you're doing so the water doesn't come out that since there's no drain on it. And we'll just drain the, the flow leg to save it circulating through the rad. Imagine going to drain it away. So we have said wet vac, gonna drain it down via the right hand side because the drain's actually higher than the radiator tail anyway, so hopefully it keeps the drain at a minimum. How are you loosening it? So to loosen it, you're going to go up the way. So you need to be able to grab the grips and push down the way. Back, like, back towards yourself, yes. Oh, take it easy, take it easy. You just want to release the pressure. It's up to you if you can do it or you want the wet back on, to have a constant suck on it. Or you want to let it drain into that and then you can suck out the water inside the tub. Uh, What's your pick? Uh, do, the, do the collar on this, take it. What are you doing? You're going to wet vac? Nice position for the wet vac. Oh dear, you've, you've no thought about it. What do you think? I'm not sure how much attention you were paying close to that last wee bit there. He actually had the hose in the wrong position on the wet vac and he was actually blowing the water all over the wall instead of sucking it up. Obviously for future there's a certain hole that goes in. You put it in that hole it sucks, you put it in the other hole it'll blow out the fucking wall. Hey Scott. Correct. What's your lesson learned? Oh, stick it in the right hole. Yes. Anytime you like, Scott. Stay with this, anything. Anytime you like. You've actually got to have so much patience to sit and watch somebody do that. Oh, that's a good one. Then give one left. That's right. Jesus Christ. Left to listen, right? You see how easy that was? This all the time. I know you do, because you're stupid, aren't you? <laughs> Give you some confidence, don't I? Bang! Did you really think I was going to scare me? Probably. There you go. So that's what it looks like with the TRV off. It's got seed in the way. You pop that one off. Anything you like. Lovely job, Lee. New valve. Where are you putting the new valve? Don't look bad first. Don't know you're in charge of the radio. What would you say is better? Um, if it was me, I'd put it in the bottom first. Good for me. I think it's the last one. I think it's the other one this first. Just make sure it takes a nut and the thread tight. Just tighten it so it's tight and it's not going to pull off. And put it on that. So what you want to do is get that till it actually pulls the pipe. Can it? There you go. That's enough. So what you want to do is get the grips underneath, holding up the way. Other side it, if you go. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Right. Shift on your left hand. Grips on the right. 
Like you want to grab the bottom of the nut? You want to be like onto the nut? Aye, like that. So you'll need to adjust the grips? Yep, perfect. So you want to hold the grips up and down the way? Like, so uh, let's see that, sorry. Ah, you've got, see how, like, see how the, that nut's flat there? You want to be on the flat of the nut? With the grip. Aye, like that, like that. Perfect. Look at that. Right, if you're comfortable, it's tight. And then you can just take the bottom one up. You actually probably only need the grips. So you don't even want to be too aggressive on it. Compton? Huh? Nice. Nice solid grip. Alright. Hey, that's that. Compton, take the grey cap off. We need to fill the pressure up. If anybody's wondering how to fill a back, say, and the watch this fellow under here, wee green valve, pull that down. Simple. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, job done, no valve, leak free and sorted. Like that, like, well, we're never even here.